Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a story time and it's um, my acne story time that I told you guys that I was gonna do. Let's just get started. I guess I'll start with when my acne first started popping up on my face. It was around six, the end of sixth grade the big, or the beginning of seventh grade, I really don't remember. And it was really mainly around my chin area and like my nose and my forehead area. So like in this area right here and like the sides of my nose and then my chin and it was just, and it was really bad acne. It wasn't like just little, little, little pimples. It was like huge pimples at times. Um, and I just thought it was gonna go away, um, but it didn't. Um, it stuck around for a long time. Um, as I got older, it progressively got worse and it spread out more towards other areas of my face. And I got really insecure about it and self-conscious and I was, I just felt like everyone was staring at me because of my acne and I thought that I looked so ugly and um, I just hated the way my skin looked even though I was able to cover it with makeup but you know still I just thought that everyone could still just see all the acne that was on my face. So it got to the point where I was wearing makeup every day to school and not just at school, but at like restaurants or the store or like uh, just every time I walked out of the house, I was wearing makeup. So um, around like my freshman year of high school, I started looking up on Pinterest, like DIYs, um, like face masks and like facial stuff. And you know, I tried a lot of stuff on there to try to get, not necessarily get rid of my acne, but help it calm down and not be as aggressive. But I also tried proactive and that didn't really work for me because the cleanser had um, these exfoliating uh, stuff in it and it told you to use it every day. But you're not really supposed to exfoliate your face every day. It's really bad for your skin if you do that because it dries out your skin. And so that didn't work for me. And I also tried this other thing called Unblemish. And it's this other acne line. It's kind of like proactive. And that didn't really work for me either because their acne treatment cream, um, I remember was like burning, I guess. Last year around after Christmas break, I really started getting, well, honestly, getting lazier at putting on my makeup in the mornings because I just didn't care anymore. I just, I was so sick and tired of putting it on every day. And when I realized that no one was really, no one really cared what my face looked like, it just, it was just, really relieving when I realized that because then I could be more confident. Last year, around uh, maybe February, uh, my brother, he started taking this acne, um, I guess it's an antibiotic, it's called Accutane and I know there's a lot of health concerns with Accutane and um, but he started using it and I noticed a big change in his acne because he had really bad acne on like all on his chin and his cheeks just and his forehead it was just everywhere it was really bad 
Um, but he started using it and his face has cleared up so, so much. I have seen his face go from covered in acne to almost completely clear. Um, so I decided to go to the dermatologist, see what she thought I should do. Um, and she recommended Accutane. So I decided to take Accutane and I've been taking it for a while. Um, it's definitely, I've definitely seen a difference in my skin for sure because I used to get huge pimples on my chin and like oh my you can see the acne scars on my cheeks I definitely recommend it if you're someone who's been struggling with acne for years and you've tried everything and you don't know what else to do go to your dermatologist and see what they recommend I am definitely more confident in my face um, I am wearing makeup right now, but, um, you know, I can go out with no makeup on and I'll be fine. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you have any video suggestions that you want me to do because I'm doing this for you guys, um, please leave a suggestion down below because I don't know what my next video will be, so, yeah. If you guys have any similar stories or whatever, please, I would love to read them. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you know when I post my next video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!